Hello everyone, in this video let us talk about 5 quick tips for Jira Agile. In case you have just started using Jira Agile and you are wondering how can you get the most out of your Agile boards. So in this video I want to share 5 quick tips. So the tip number 1 is that when you create your columns, there is a concept of column constraints. Now what exactly is column constraint? Well, if you're looking at your board with let us say three columns to do in progress and done, these column constraints will help you with some visual indicators. For example, maybe you want your in progress column to have at least two issues and you also want at the same time that you shouldn't have more than four issues in the in progress column. So you can actually set this number minimum and maximum number for each column and whenever you have let us say less than two issues your column color can change and uh, maybe you have uh, more than four issues which is your maximum column constraint you will probably get uh, a different color like maybe a red color. So these column constraints will really help you in uh, understanding uh, the progress of the work that you're doing and you can set it for uh, every column of uh, your agile board. The second tip is the usage of uh, set resolution checkbox. Now in Jira there is a concept of uh, a resolution and a resolution is nothing but uh, a field that you can uh, set when you resolve the issue or maybe when you fix the bug for example and this resolution can have uh, values like uh, fixed, not fixed, duplicate and so on and you can of course uh, change it. But uh, for reporting purpose as well and also when you're looking at your, uh, your dashboard, the resolution field is actually used at uh, multiple places. Now to make your, uh, your work more efficient, you can actually set this uh, resolution field automatically when you move the issue from one column to another column. And uh, you can actually do that by using the set resolution checkbox that you will only get if you're using the simplified workflows in your uh, agile project. So you can also set the resolution automatically if you want. The third tip is the usage of uh, quick filters and uh, quick filters is uh, one of my favorite feature in uh, Jira Agile. Using quick filter you can have uh, small links on uh, top of your boards and these links will help you in uh, filtering the issues uh, immediately without uh, the page refresh. For example, if you're looking at your agile board with uh, maybe 25 stories and uh, if I just want to find out the stories assigned to me, I can click on this uh, quick filter link on top called uh, let us say assigned to me and the board will only display my own uh, stories. At the same time, you can also create your own uh, quick filters using your own JQL, your own query. And uh, you can have, let us say, quick filter letting you select or filter all the issues that are due today or maybe all the issues of high priority which are due today. And in fact, as I mentioned before, it can be any JQL in the, uh, in the, uh, in the project and you can, you can basically have any field of your choice. The uh, fourth tip is uh, using the card colors and card colors is again uh, a very nice feature in uh, Jira Agile. Using card colors you can uh, set, ca set colors of cards based on uh, let us say the priority or maybe the issue type or maybe any JQL. I personally use uh, the priority because uh, I want my high priority or uh, maybe low priority stories or tickets to be visually different. And if I if I'm able to take a look at let us say the major or highest priority tickets in a red color, I will immediately uh, uh, do something about them and at least I'll be aware that I have a lot of high priority tickets in my to do column. So do take a look at the uh, card color. And the fifth tip is. Uh, the concept of uh, working days in your uh, Jira Agile board. When you're working on, of course, uh, your your project or maybe your uh, a Scrum team or maybe you are a can maybe you are a Kanban team, it is always good to set uh, the 
working days. Maybe you don't want your graph to show that your team is working on uh, your holidays and you can actually configure these uh, holidays and you can also configure your, uh, your weekdays in case uh, you work maybe uh, on a specific days in a, in a week. For your team, you can actually configure this, uh, this working days and of course your holidays and it will really help you in the reporting purpose. So these are all the five tips that I wanted to share in this video and I hope you learned and you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you very much.